All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Reader. So we are doing a viewer request video here. We're going to look at Tup, Mark, and Plug. So Tupperware, man, I regret not making a move here. Obviously, that's super easy to see when it's a 75% day, right? But dude, look at this thing, right? I, I always say the spacing between moving averages just is a really important thing that I look at. And man, from that to that is a is just such a big space, especially with nothing but a whole mess of red, 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 red all the way down. You know what I mean? So Tupperware, I hope you crushed it. And um, yeah, the question is going to be, what is this going to keep doing, right? And I'll give you my opinions on that, right? But um, simple to say that Friday, which alone is a 35% day is massive, right? Friday didn't pump and dump. Monday, I don't, I don't, we'll talk, we'll talk, right? Okay, so from their mark, okay, there were a lot of people talking about mark. And I had some opinions about DWAC on, on over the weekend, right? So you can go kind of look at those, but... Um, I wasn't liking Mark. I actually put something on Sunday before Monday's action, really saying that. And I do think that that my you know my opinion kind of held well, right? So we'll talk about Mark, but um, yeah, I just I didn't see it. I really didn't. You know what I mean? And then Plug. I think Plug is really close. Actually, that one came in today. I liked it this morning. Um, I think Plug is well worth our team's attention. But um, before we go any further, what are we gonna do today? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term we do have our five moving averages this is the first time i'm covering this so i will draw some horizontal support and resistance lines and then when we are done up here we will use the macd rsi and volume as our lower indicators hey really quickly if you can please subscribe to the channel share this video on the internet comment good or bad hey if you disagree with me i promise you i'm not here to hate on your thoughts all right but anything you can do really does help me out but i swear just giving me your time is super appreciated all right so let's get into it and tup i'll be honest i don't really know this chart very well and man it's a pretty ugly chart to say the least beautiful run beautiful run in basically the covid um months right this is basically and i guess that makes sense i think a lot of people were probably staying at home doing a little more cooking buying some more tupperware brand products that makes sense i think in in, in some ways right but man when you lose the 200 moving at when you're over all five moving averages you fly baby and when good things happen when you are over the eight and the 20 and all that is easy to see here from there though and i guess let me just kind of keep zooming out yeah from there there's not even man covid save this thing sweet jesus um it's been really bad right and when you lose all the moving averages it, it, it's a horrible thing and when you're doing nothing more than just trading under the eight and the 20 which in a lot of ways has been the case since this really since september of last year almost a full year of it right but Man, it's it's just nothing but under the eight and the twenty, literally from right here, right. So, um, it, it's rough, okay. And what's happening now, man? I don't know. First off, if there was news on Friday, can you let me know? I actually have not looked at the headlines, and I don't know what happened here. Um, I say again, it's super in hindsight, right? Obviously, you can see the 75% day and it's just like, oh my, I wish I bought this, blah, blah, blah. No, there's there's a lot of really, really telling things here, all right? First and foremost, all right, once, I think I would have picked this line. No, I... Th yeah, I would have. This would have been the line. I think once it got over this... That, that would have been game over. And the sad thing is that that happened in an after hours gap, right? So knowing that we opened here, man, oh man, I just, I don't think I would have played this either way, in all honesty. Interesting. I'm kind of talking out loud, right? Again, I don't like to chase the dragon. And this move does happen after hours. It obviously wicks it, right? And I don't know if the like, I would have caught the blah, blah, blah. I'm talking way too personal stuff. But let's just talk about the chart as an individual, all right? So what am I looking at? Let me zoom out again, right? You can see it already from there. But look, this blue 100 moving average has not been an easy line. We definitely break it, can't get to the 100. We fail it, get back over it, fail it, and then from there it becomes a wall. There was never really a bounce on that blue line, right? A little bit of a bounce here, actually. That was kind of cool to see. Okay, interesting. So overall, the story is the 100 moving average, all right? This thing needs to hold 
what is that 142 all right we really want this to close at least at 143 where are you after hours again you're holding the, the hunt i'm good with that all right you know i don't put a lot of like emphasis on after hours especially especially when you know the the movement's not that much right but i think this is a really important oh man that's basically where we're at then i guess this one is i would actually really want to hold 190. no sorry 137. damn that's also still really close man where's the pull the eject button i guess it's here all right 135 i would hit eject for sure at 135 because from there i think it's going to be a really quick just drop to basically this right here what i was talking about earlier this 97 cents what we really want to have happen because again look where are we we're basically on this this day closes at 156 today we actually close at 158 i want to know if this goes a penny higher give me 159 alert and yeah i'm not gonna lie to you i'm gonna want to ride that to right here I'm gonna want to ride that if that breaks all the way up here to the 200 at 316, right? Even going from sub two to almost 240 is well more than 20%, right? Like, you know, like it's it, there's there's some there's some good thing. Wait, did I do that math wrong? I might have done the math wrong. Whatever. That's a good gap right there, baby. That breaks, that's a good gap right there. And really, this is kind of the hardest support, right? I'm just kind of throwing an, an arbitrary line, but actually that's not that bad. It's not that bad a line right there, actually. Um, man. There's some, there's, some, there's some things here. Again, the last thing I want you to do is like look at all these lines and start having $7 dreams when we're still down here, right? Don't do that just yet, okay? We still need to believe that we've taken the 100. We still need to see what happens with the 200. Cannot think any higher than the 200 at the very minimum, all right? The thing is, there has been so much pain on this stock like breaking a line really means running a nice little gap there are just gap city gap city gap city really just hard gaps like there's there's a lot of pain tupperware brand has seen and man i don't i don't know i, I don't know if this was an earnings thing like i'd love to know if there's actual news here but Tupperware could be interesting. Again, look, literally the last lines I draw, I swear I didn't know it. I hope you believe me. But yeah, the last lines I drew were right here on the pretty much the high weekly moving averages, right? So again, this one's pretty much sitting on the 50 right here. Like, yeah, I'm, I like my lines. I do. And again, I mean, it's just gap city, gap city, gap city, right? Like, damn. There was a question. I was sorry for the silence. I was thinking there was a question in the comments. Hey, is this thing worth holding for a while? I'll be real honest with you all. I I personally am not the best at long term analyses. All right. I do not put my money in most things long term. All right. In nothing long term. There was no reason for me to say most things. All right. I know when to jump in and out in short framed windows. Because again, I don't know fundamentals of companies, all right? I am not keeping up to date with global politics or, you know, regional, it, you know, finances and stuff like that, right? To me, like, you need to do a lot of homework to really have a good idea of long term things. That said, there's really good spacing on the daily and the weekly. And breaking a moving average or breaking a good support, or sorry, breaking a good resistance could be silly. And I think that's the most confident answer. Like, look, just from here to here is almost 50%. From here to here is almost a two wet. Like, I'm rounding, but you know I'm not wrong, right? Like, this to this is a 50 per, is, a, is a 2x almost. Sorry, not a 50%, right? Like, that you're basically adding two bucks. That you're basically adding two bucks. That's 50% of this. That's double of this. That you're basically adding just a little less than six. That's almost, right? Like, there are some hard, hard moves. It's all going to start with breaking the 100 moving average. And I know today broke it, got over it, but it didn't break. Let me say that again. I know today got over it, but it didn't break it. All right. Tomorrow needs to confirm that we've broken it. All right. Tupperware. I like it actually. All right. Mark, not so much. Okay. So Mark, I obviously see this big little wick that happened on Friday. All right. I see that. I see this blip of volume, right? I see that. End of the day, I see a bad candle. 
end of the day, I see a stock that's actually now falling out of this horizontal. I drew this 120 on Sunday. I really don't know much about this stock. So what did I do? I did what I normally do, right? I zoomed out. And look, just under the moving averages are way more familiar than the couple times we've been above it. You know what I mean? Like this, this stock's not a beautiful stock. And hey, please do not have $100 dreams on a sub dollar, right? Like I know you're smarter than that, but I gotta at least say that for those that are, you know, not that smart, not as smart as you, right? But this is a hard line. And again, you still can't have $4 dreams when you're under all five moving averages, right? But um, yeah, there's, there's definitely some hard lines and like I, I can easily draw this thing right here. Maybe even this little peak right here will do something, right? But end of the day, man, when you're under all five moving averages, when you're under, when you're over all five, you fly. When you're under all five, you die. It, it, the rhyme works well when I say it like that, right? But um, yeah, I said it on Sunday. I didn't think today was going to do well. Today did not do well. Let, I mean, look, no one wants to eat a 6% loss, but more so, we're now under all the moving averages. That's now an uglier RSI than it was. That's now no longer a good uptrending MACD, right? Like, And if I'm not mistaken, we're, we're kissing all time lows. Like, I got to draw this line, really, right? Because again, you lose this. Oh, man. You're going deeper into all time lows, right? So, truth be told, I feel like this is about to lose, excuse me, 20 cents. And I think 76 cents is way more realistic than $1.20. All right. I know someone mentioned on Twitter that this has a low float. I know that someone on Twitter mentioned that this is highly manipulated. I know someone said that this thing was connected on to DWOC, all right? Unfortunately, I do believe AMC stole a lot of DWOC's thunder. Unfortunately, moving averages are hard to break. And yeah, unless we can get over these four and I'm gonna start believing we're gonna come up here, for real, it seems like we're going to lose all-time low support. And yeah, every time you lose all-time lows, I always say it's like a black hole vortex that's ready to eat your money 20% at a time, then another 20%, until the hand of God just comes down and saves it. You know what I mean? It's it's a hard place for your money. I don't like Mark at all, you know? Um, in all honesty, I don't even think I have any real good friends named Mark. I have no enemies named Mark, but I got no homies named Mark either. But um, oh, look at that. We have a little split here too. It does, um, it does a silly little pop that, you know, yeah, again, just look at this thing, right? Under the eight and the 20, very, very consistently, right? There's not a lot to like on Mark, unfortunately. Again, if you disagree, throw it in the comments. I'm not here to hate on your thoughts, right? I'm, I would love to have a good educated conversation, but um, I'm telling you, I do not use low float or manipulation or any of that in my trading strategy. I'm not here hoping the meme army volume does what it does. That That's not how I move my money. You know what I mean? So hopefully that's not how you do yours as well. We did Tup. We did Mark. Next up is Plug. Hey, I liked Plug. I actually really did. Now look, this doesn't look too fantastic, right? Obviously, you know I generally like them when they're going up, 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 up. But look how close we are to this 200 moving average on the daily, all right? If we can break that 200, we will be over all of them, right? Like there are a lot of things. Oh man, there's a really interesting um, downtrend thing happening here. I don't normally draw trend lines, but I saw this thing and I wanted to, there was at least this. Interesting, that might be a little hard to break. Again, that would be some, some decent profits if it came near this 20 line, right? But that's an interesting downtrend right there for sure. But look, break the 200. And yeah, I think there's reason to believe we would come to this thing. I think it's worth putting a line. Ah, I don't know if I should do it here or a little bit lower, but we do hit the top of that. I think, I think we'll take that, we hit the top of that. I think that's a good line. We actually start to get into this one too, yeah. And that actually almost comes to where the downtrend is. Really good, nice. Um, maybe this will do something. I actually think we probably would come to the downtrend um, in general. And again, obviously, because if we could break this, that's a quick green, 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 red, 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 right? So, um, and if you look at it, I think the top of this, sorry, the, can, the, the, the top here, I think that 17 to 19 window is gonna be really interesting. Now, listen to me. Don't have an assumption that we're going to 17 until this line breaks, all right? Once 
what number is that? Sorry, looking at the box over there. 1292. One, I would set my alert, and I'm going to do it right now. Let's do 1296. Give me a couple pennies above that above that purple line, but get me over that, and I actually would believe we'll come to 16, and then I'd be curious to see what happens with that. But look, our MACD's in the positive. Our RSI is actually curving up and is sitting at a real healthy 60, and it's been here before. You know what I mean? So it, 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 this, this could be a place where it actually will hold and maybe curve. Obviously, volume's now getting a little sad where it sucks, right? Like this was a good little volume window for sure, and obviously that that's what came with it. But break the 200, this thing should fly. I actually do believe it. And where are we comparatively with this? Yeah, that's kind of where we're at, right? Like, look at that. That will basically break. Um, damn, I wish I looked at these before I set my alert. What did I set my alert at? I don't think I remember. Nonetheless, I think that 1302 might have been an interesting place. Was it this? No, it was the top of this. I don't think my alert was in the 13s. I think it was in the higher 1290s, but I think 1302 or you know even a little higher 1305 could be a, 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 again there's no such thing as a safe trade right but that might be a little bit safer of an alert to put but i like plug i really do so um what's the weekly looking like Are we on the 50 or something oh we're not even oh man interesting this actually kind of says yeah this says that we want to come to the 50. where's your 50 at 1471 where was 1471 at bottom of you 1490 I think I think plug will break this. I do. Again, the weekly is what looked good. So I'm not necessarily saying that that's going to happen tomorrow or not, but I still like this weekly chart a lot, actually. This weekly chart can come as low as 1149, and I would still actually like it. So um, don't, oh, wow, look at that. It hits that. Too. Okay, I like this. This lines up really well with the weekly as well. I'm glad I drew that. Um, I like plug. I do. I think just be a little bit patient with it, but I like plug. So, hey, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Again, otherwise, thank you, thank you.